talk about file managers this afternoon. I'm just dying you guys to listen and ask questions yet. Uh, we'll figure it out. So I'm Spencer Shepard, and like I said, I think I've seen faces. So I am work for Sun, uh, work on NFS, work in the ITF on NFS, work on file bench, you know, with the intent that it can be used for NFS someday. Um, so what we're going to talk about today um, is file bench, and we're going to go through a description of that. So Eric Cusser is a stand over here to my left. Um, he's been doing actually most of the work when I get to do the presentation to claim all the responsibility. Um, there's another engineer in Sun, Drew Wilson, that's been doing a lot of work with file bench lately as well. Um, he's not here today unless he's snuck in. Uh, he's actually been doing a lot of work in documenting the contents of file bench and what it is capable of and getting that posted. We'll provide pointers later about where you can find the information. Um, and then Richard McDougall in brackets, because Richard, uh, who used to work for Sun up until two or three months ago, was the person who uh, built most of this framework, and I stole slides from him for this presentation. Um, but he's essentially, you know, um, an alumni and is still very interested in this space, given his long history of performance uh, measurement and analysis. So um, we'll keep his name on the presentation for the moment. So what are we going to uh, go over today? So talk a little bit about file bench motivation. So uh, Richard had actually done a presentation a couple years ago at the NAS conference. Um, about half of his presentation is from that, which describes motivation and general structure architecturally. Um, so we're going to go over that again for those people who are unfamiliar with file bench. Um, go through a little bit more detailed description of file bench, um, and then essentially talk about activities that we've been doing lately um, trying to get the file bench prepped and ready to put back into open Solaris as a standard benchmark tool so that it's there when we install Solaris so you can use it if you want to at any time. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, what we're trying to do to manage source between that and the source work project that exists for file bench. Um, what issues we see with the current file bench framework, what problems we have identified and what to what things exist, and then kind of a what next, you know, what things do we want to do and what things um, we think need to be done um, with file bench framework. So let's start off with uh, testing file system performance. So everybody's file system, you know, favorite file system testing uh, performance tool is DD, right? You know, it's easy, it's always there in your, your, uh, your Unix box. Um, you DD your big file, see how long it takes, uh, you have your timex or whatever your favorite timing tool is. And you do your back envelope calculations and then decide what you like to see or not. That's the first thing everybody runs, but it's <clears throat> it's great for the DD application, but it doesn't really reflect um, anything interesting beyond that. Um, the other two things, tar is another big one. So if you want to do metadata testing, you know, untar you know the Linux kernel and see how long that takes. That's a big one. Uh, MK file, which is a long-time Solaris thing, again, you know, create large file, fill pages backwards, you know, see how horrible the process deals with that. Um, Bonnie, which I think the author admittedly says, you know, something that you brought up very quickly and it has essentially stuck against the wall for all these years. Again, a very simple tool, a micro benchmark essentially. IOZone, which has a much larger set of features, um, is actually a very good tool for what it does, but it's limited in, in the expandability and essentially what it can do beyond what's you know, programmed into it today. And then, you know, we have a, a, you know, a list of other benchmarks that kind of fall in the same category. Does anybody use that, that? <coughs> so you know anything about the Linux world? Okay. 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 Um, so why do you, you know, with all those wonderful tools, why is it that you want to go off and invest in uh, such a new benchmark framework? Essentially since they're hard to you know construct and deal with and nobody ever likes the one you're in love with. And, um, you know, why would you actually go off and do this? Um, and this was a question that you know, we kind of asked of ourselves within Sun, or at least Richard did initially, and then kind of drew in a few other of us. So why, you know, what is it that we need? Uh, and this grew out of essentially an effort to uh, measure and improve performance of a database.